Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew that woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. This is one of the stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We could just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Sure. Ah, memories. Wow, look at that score. Those were some pro numbers. But what did the lady think? Oh, got me right through the heart, the cat. You know, the secret is to aim for the head, not the heart. I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. Okay. More cheap date ideas? Oh, lighten up. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. Trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Hey, how about an orb or two? We've got it I all. wish you wouldn't. Why? Because I'm no romantic. Believe me, I know. Right. Right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people? People are technically animals, too. Right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. But though I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Red's got this. <sighs> well... I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R, give me an E, give me a D! The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you want to enjoy losing. Wonder what sort of design the girls are gonna come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you wanna see? Me? Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer function over form, so durable, maybe made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion, in case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Okie dokie then. I don't know the about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. Right I'm way, not please. talking about the chocobos. Oh, you meant the shells, right? Right. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous! Nice! A punch! Decent size one, too! Whew. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? Are you sure? Really? Leaving the decision to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out. I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This date's DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I... sorry. Next time we need a chocobo, I say we ride double. And slow down the bird? Which would make it that much easier to take in all the scenery. I'm still steering. <laughs> oh, fine. If you've got to be the man up front... Hey there, bro! Hey, Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not me? So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? me. No, no way! You're too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help! Hey, you talking shit about me? You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission to blow my nose, sir? Oh, can't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? So, you can do it while you're warming the bed. That's an abuse of power! Tyrant! Tyrant! Tifa, tell me about it. I can put up with this in your face. <laughs> if good qualities outweigh the bad, 
Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% dirt thing? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. I think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> you still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! What the hell are you doing, Red? Relax. It happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! <gasps> Look at him go! <laughs> Come here! Or not? <clears throat> what the? Leave me alone. Hey! Someone has a fan. Ah, uh, no fair. Got enough hangers on already, but fine. <laughs> hey, hey, hmm? check out its head. Does it remind you of anyone? It's Cloud, only cute. <laughs> that settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Jr. <laughs> Do you think the others are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. Pads, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything yet. You didn't have to. One squeeze? No. Please? If not for me, at least for Cloud? I mean, I am kind of curious. How about this? At the next inn, we treat you to a foot massage. You okay? Uh, uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Cloud didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <laughs> Think of them as a tag along. Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jr.
Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? we have here? A man with a rain cloud over his head. So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future light. Just let me go shooting the messenger, eh? This some kind of toy. You can lad. Eyes up here. <laughs> Look at Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. It's a toy, all right. Pretty life like that. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off.
you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. Jessie, she died fighting for Avalanche. You know she was an actress? Yeah. She was a good friend. Not that I deserved one. Just a friend? Or a girlfriend? You can be pretty dense when it comes to that kind of stuff. She gave as good as she got. Never cut me any slack. And yeah. Just a friend. Sure it was that black and white? I don't follow. You, young man, still have a lot to learn. Right? This is some kind of race today, folks. In all my years in the booth, only seen a couple this close. So, Cloud, which bird do you think is gonna take home the win? Well, Aerith, considering their plumage and breeding, I think the choice is clear. You know, you could tack along with us. And be a third wheel? No thanks. I know when I'm not wanted. <laughs> first oh no you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing fine and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I wanna be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, bro! So yeah, me and me's are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait.
So, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You are absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad, either. Oh, don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You said it. We, we all want what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. And, and none, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry. You got this, Johnny. Johnny? You don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! Johnny! Johnny Johnny's! You know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now, I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, bet y'all go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck here wasting time. But just wait, oh materia. I'll get back on the road and make you mine. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. She's the God. 
You're not Tifa. You can't be. We've been over this. I do have a scar. I showed you, remember? Liar. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. Little old me. Aye, that's <laughs> right. Worried. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> I think we can do without your kind of help, you stupid good liquor. Still can't find it in your heart to trust me. Eh? Ah, the way we snubbled up last night, I thought we'd made a breakthrough. <laughs> I only did that because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it weird. <laughs> My darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it back safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. <laughs> Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippily. <sighs> I don't think I've ever met such nice young people. Come back any time, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. They... They could have lived long and happy lives running free. If I hadn't... Well... We all gotta eat? Oh! <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zack told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. 
Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Her body. Her mind. Start. By training. You're behind. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. In your quads. Got it. <laughs> Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough? <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long, but I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane, follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane, airplane follow, follow the smoke! The smoke. Huh? Huh? What? Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. Because... Choco, bo, choco, 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 bo. I'm on a chocobo, you're on a chocobo! After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! Well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. 
I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. There! It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? Every word, though. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. That would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. Oh. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us. To this very day. Wait. Is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since. His watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto 
who asked me to see you off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. And no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Or, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. This trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all. I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto. Protector of our veil! <laughs> Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're in Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me, was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... Hell. We wanted to help. We really did. But how? It all seemed so hopeless. That's when the call came. From the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. believe it. 
It was him. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it. Don't worry. It's all good, bro. Hey, y'all heard that, right? That was Wedge. Barrett, those who pass on become one with the life stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. Confound it! Without the power of Genji, I am outmatched. of it has kindled in me a covetous desire. Could it be that hunger for weapons brought me hither? <laughs> Wherefore does the memory elude me? <laughs> Return what you have stolen! My Genji! Give it back! Stand and deliver. Halt, I say. Let it go. I'm not until you return what is mine. Only then shall I rest. Only then shall you know peace, but not until that day! <laughs> I know you snuck a shot of me earlier. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Come here. <laughs> oh, perfect. Contests on the clock, I always won. Wait, 
Could you be more of a slacker than me? But I devote all my time outside of roll calls specifically to playing Queen's Blood. Oh, I see. You're unemployed. Living the dream. <sighs> no, that's none of my business. You're a bigger fish. That's all. It was an honor to have played with you. I hope I'll have another chance someday. Question. This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So, let's give the core thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just... Put them out of their misery. To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. <laughs> so, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. So let me guess. This is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? It's not funny. Wasn't trying to be, honestly. Just wanted to know. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To. Someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings. More than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you. And I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do. And it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. Listen, Cloud. I don't know what went down five years ago, but... I'm here for you and Tifa. Whatever you need. If it's too much, just say the word. We'll leave. for Aerith, we fought 
together as soldiers. You were here with me. Five years ago. You came with me on the mission. 